Oh, first few steps on minor soil. And here is our vehicle. And we are plus minus 40 minutes to an hour away from the lodge. We are within the minor national park, so you can see any, any big game viewing. There's a nice sign there. We just landed, we just landed in Monopoles. We found some wild dogs. That's a really special time for wild dogs because there's a, it's a bit of a greeting ceremony that takes place. We're going to be greeting each other, just strengthening that bond between the pack and then probably head off hunting. Welcome to Nya Matusi. So we feel like we're on another planet right now. So I'm gonna just take you through the lodge, show you what it's like to stay here in minor pools, especially at the um, African Bush Camp Lodges. I really hope some of you decide that, you know what, if Africa is for you, that you come out and you support places like this because it means the world. And you know what, you are going to get a lot back in return. A lot more than you, than you bargained for. just to spend some time on foot within a, within a comfortable distance with this pride and just take in the moment. That is why Mana Pools is so special um, and that is why it is so unique compared to many other national parks. lunchtime already. It's been so full on between walking with elephants and walking with a pride of lion, uh, stopping for every bird, photographing everything we can. Um, we now have the luxury of being personally driven to a little spot for lunch and they've situated us right on the uh, Zambezi River. So if any of you are worried about the food you may be getting in Africa on safari, Please don't. Your only worry is how much weight you're going to put on.
We just, um, we spent about, I don't know, it felt like 40 minutes. Kneeling down um, alongside a huge water body with a lot of hippo quite close to us, so it's only 10, 15 meters. A little bit of a bittersweet moment. We finished at uh, Nyamatusi, which means we're moving to Kanga, which is awesome, but um, we are having to leave our awesome guide Mash behind. There we go. Cheers, Thank buddy. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you for everything. Good to have you around. We appreciate it. Enjoy and Kanga. Uh, we will. And wow, there we go. Thank you. New Mash. Good to meet you. <laughs> Cliffy is going to be looking after us for the next four days. <laughs> Welcome to Kanga, everyone. Thank you. Welcome, Dream. Magic. Thank you very much. Thank you, As the season progresses in the next few months, this massive water body in front of us, which is Kanga Pan, actually dries up fully. When it dries up fully, um, that's a good indicator that there's not much water left in the bush and the surroundings. And this tends to be the only water source in miles. So you can imagine the game activity that floods this area. For example, if you're sitting here having lunch, the elephants are right, right here. These are the type of camps you can expect from African bush camps because their goal is to really, really, really connect you to nature on a level that's just like beyond what, you, what you've ever imagined, whatever you, uh, what you've seen in the past. About 200 meters off, I saw something that looked like a lion. I thought it was an impala, but I just, just had kept my eye on it. And as she moved, it actually was a uh, lioness. There are hundreds of impala running around us. The baboons are going crazy. We have impala running straight towards us, we have baboons running straight towards us and we walk straight opposite them in the opposite direction. Bad starts in the morning. We got to walk Mana and we got to see an elephant standing on its back legs. Super blessed. Thank you. 
in this part of the world you have to experience the African Bush Camps canoe ride. So I am going to do it. I'm put it I've, I've actually, I don't know if you can see, I put my brave pants on. These are my brave pants um, and uh, my brave shoes. And I'm going to go do this canoe ride. So um, I know that it, it, it puts you in a very calming situation and it allows you to take in um, the water life, the bird life, the hippos and um, get a you know a different perspective completely as opposed to being on foot or in the car so i'm doing it i'm super excited I don't know guys, it's, it's moments like these that make you feel the most alive and if, uh, if you're anything like me, you know, we got to live while, we, while we're here, what's the point otherwise, you know, the world is so beautiful, come and see it, that's what we do, we, we offer the most insane, beautiful grounding experiences in Africa. from myself thank you so much for following along if you loved the trip and you like the footage please make sure to like the channel subscribe and always click on that little notification bell so every time we upload a new video you're going to be the first to see it